Well, the search is on for a gunman who shot a 13-year-old boy. Apparently, the child was either an innocent bystander or caught in a case of mistaken identity. PIX 11's Nicole Johnson joins us live right now from the Longwood section of the Bronx to break it all down for us. Nicole, good to see you. Is the boy going to be physically okay? That's correct, Candice. As far as our sources are telling us, that 13-year-old is expected to be okay, and they also say he is in good spirits. That's the good news. But what's making this a bit more concerning to people who live in the area is that police believe the gunman could also be a teenager. A 13-year-old boy hit by a bullet walking down a busy Bronx street. Very concerning to people who live in the area. It's very unfortunate that that would happen to such a young child. And the violence and the guns here are getting really, really out of hand. But honestly, it's most of the young people in that age range that have the guns. And that's what's making it even worse. Police say it was just before 8.30 Sunday night on Southern Boulevard. The teen told detectives the suspect asked him if he was in a gang. The boy allegedly said no. That started an argument. Things escalated to gunfire near Simpson Street and Westchester Avenue. The victim said he heard several shots, then realized he had been hit by a bullet in his left leg. Police sources tell PIX11 News the gunman left the scene on a city bike. So far this year, shooting incidents citywide are down about 25% compared to last year. Still, what happened here is a harsh reality among young people, and it has this parent speaking out and sending a message to other parents. As parents, we need to put our foot on their necks, even if they're bad, even if they got guns in the house. They're ours. They don't belong to the government. They belong to us. And you heard the advice right there from that mother. In the meantime, police are desperately looking for the person responsible. Sources are telling us that the teenager and his parents are expected to arrive at the precinct any minute now just to go over the facts in this case. For now, we're live in the Longwood section of the Bronx. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.